Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our leadership training videos. In these leadership training videos, what I do is I take you through in a few minutes some of the key thoughts and ideas that I have come to learn, discover and experience in terms of my own journey through this leadership process. They're all my thoughts, they're my ideas, they're my experiences as well, which I just want to connect with you on for a few minutes. So I feel that this is the moment to say whether you're a leader or you're wanting to be a leader, or you have leaders that you are looking up to, or maybe you're wondering why is it they behave in a certain way, maybe they don't correspond with what you are expecting out of leadership. Clearly your situation is yours and only for you to get a perspective on it. But I want to give you some ideas about what the leadership traits, the leadership qualities and skills are, what the leadership experience might be for you, and how you can become a more effective leader if that is the journey that you are on. I take a few minutes and just describe them. So my name is Chris Igwe. I have over 35 years experience of leading, training and developing teams across five major European markets, but equally Europe, Middle East and Africa, where I've had teams and grown businesses. If you're not familiar, please feel free to like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you know when other videos are becoming available. And I invite you also to look at previous ones and see if any of them resonate with what you are looking for in terms of leadership. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's this one. It'll probably come as no surprise to you, but as a leader, you have to be the anchor. You can create the image in your mind of what an anchor looks like. It stabilizes a ship. It helps where the waters are choppy. So where there is a storm, for example, and I've just given you some ideas and thoughts which I'm sure you can add to in many different ways as to what that requirement for an anchor means and why it is so important. Because we're going through stormy times. In history, this is probably from technology to the different generations that we live in, to the different types of businesses, to global businesses. And then we can talk about anything from sourcing in Asia or China to the problems with regard to obviously availability of products, raw materials, inflation, costs going up, job losses, and all the rest of it. You can add on and add on and add on. So that whole supply chain is creating problems, not to mention, of course, the war in Ukraine that is happening right now. So many things that create this incredible storm, this volatility in the market, volatility in your business, total confusion, maybe chaos even if you like, the complexity that we've probably never had ever before. And we're wondering how do we deal with it? It leads to indeci indecisiveness. There's great uncertainty. We know that these are dark times, some people think. There's just darkness all around. Now I believe in every darkness, in, a, in every storm, there comes calm and still waters afterwards. But you have to go through it. You have to get through all these things that are happening and find out for yourself what it, that is going to look like. But as a leader, and that's what we're talking about, as a leader, you have to be the anchor because that's what people need. So what are the things that you need to look at? Well, on the one hand, you've got to be as a leader in order to create that anchor or that environment of stability and calm and still waters which you're not in the midst, you're in the midst of, and you don't know when that's gonna come through. You have to firstly inform your team that there are issues, and those issues you are going to have to face up to. They are going to have to face up to. Whatever it happens to be, you have to explain to them what the context is. So are they going to get a salary increase or not get a salary increase? Is there a requirement to reduce headcount? Is there a requirement to move people around in the business or the department? Will there be some contracts that you will lose as a result of wherever your business is situated and in whatever form? Explain the context. I've always sought to do that. When I've gone through difficult times with my teams or my department, I've done my best to be as honest as I possibly can. There are certain things that are clearly super confidential and you can't share with them at the first stages but then you have to decide at what time, at what moment do you share 
the bad news or the not so good news with them because that's what's really happening. So explain the context, explain the options. What are the options for them? What are the options for you as a team, as a department, as a company in this context of the way the world is going? And most importantly, they're all important, but most importantly, provide solutions. There's no point play explaining the context and explaining the options and basically saying any of these can happen. They're looking to you as the leader to say of these options, this is the one that I think is the most appropriate and therefore this is the solution or the direction that we are going to go in because you want to create a roadmap for how you're going to get out of this. And it may be you don't have total visibility yet. If they are geopolitical or global issues, there's no way you can know when things are going to happen that will change in a particular way. But do your best to provide solutions. Because once you've got all that, then, and I'm a great believer in simplicity in leadership. So you then say, okay, let us prioritize what those solutions are, what those options are that we're going to take. What are the priorities and the hierarchy within those and how do they play out? Then you want to gather the support of the team, the department, the company. You want them on board on the basis of what you've explained. You don't want mutiny. You don't want people jumping off the ship and you definitely don't want chaos, organized or unorganized. It's up to you to keep this in a particular direction, but gather support from key individuals and make sure they understand and they can do the work as well to support and bring the others along. Motivate them, of course, always motivate. That's one of the key tenets of being a leader. You motivate, you encourage, you drive, and through that process, you then bring people to where you are. Remember that you have to be the calm in the storm that's happening around you. And if you're the calm in the storm and the anchor that you're providing, then you can't be the one who's losing your mind, losing your temper, going off in various different directions. We do this today and then tomorrow we do something else. No, it's got to be absolutely clear what it is that you're providing, what that path, that route out of that difficulty is going to be, and obviously in what time frame. And I've ended on this, which is really, really important, is, and I've always sought to do this, is every single day with a small word, a small expression, maybe an email, maybe a phone call, remind, and you can't do it for everybody, I, I know that, especially if your teams are quite big, but somehow make sure that communication that you provide every single day reminds people that you are definitely on the bridge. You have the helm. You are the one who is driving or piloting this ship forward. But you are the anchor. You are the stability. And it's an everyday job, role, responsibility that you have as a leader. It's not one day on, one day off. It's all the time. So I hope this has resonated with you. If it has, please feel free to like, comment and share. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you know when other videos are becoming available. But as a leader, it is your role, your responsibility, your obligation to be the anchor in these stormy, uncertain, complicated times, making things as simple as you possibly can just through steady, steady leadership. Until next time, thank you.